Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax. And in the previous video, we started with the join improvement and we discussed that we can use star in the join itself to fetch that data of all columns of that particular table. But previously, we do not have this much this provision. If you want to go for data of all the columns, you need to specify the individual columns. Now, what I will do, I will simply firstly will understand the output of this in that debugging mode. Then we will simply replace this logic based upon the SAP ABAP new syntax. So I will put a breakpoint. I will run this particular program. Suppose I will go for material number, suppose 11 to 23. You can check in your table itself because your system data might be different from my system data. I will go for desktop 3, most preferable desktop. So this is our input which we provided is 11 to 23. It will fetch the data of these five columns from these two table and data will come into this internal table. And you can see in this internal table, we have the data of all the five columns. Now this loop will continue 13 times because we have 13 records. And this is our expected output. Now we are fetching that data of maximum columns from this MAKT table. Suppose just, just now this table has five columns. Just think if a table has suppose 15, 20 columns and you want the data of all the columns, then it is very much, I'll say, time consuming that you need to specify all the columns one by one. So can we do not use star? Yes, we can use star because ultimately we want the data. We want to use that data into our program so we can simply, simply use star. Now, maximum people will say, okay, in this old syntax itself, we can use star. Suppose I will show you. Suppose if I will copy and paste. Suppose if I will use star here. Suppose from this second table, you are going for star. So SAP is giving the error. So in the old syntaxes, you cannot go for star. Now in SAP ABAP new syntax, We'll go for star and we will see how we can use star. So I will comment this. I'll comment everything. We'll only only go for the input. Now we will write this based upon the SAP ABAP new syntax. Suppose I am writing cell. So what is our first column? Matenar. A matenar. You all know in the new syntaxes. Columns must be separated by comma. Now we require M-E-I-N-S also. Now, now from this M-A-K-T table, you want or you need the data of maximum column. Then there is no need to specify individual. Just use star. I am writing B. Sorry. I am. Okay, sorry. I will just go for copy this. I will put comma. Now I will simply write B star. Now we will go for from what is our first table? Mara as a join MAKT as B. Now we will go for common condition. A matenar is equal to B matenar. Now we will store into internal table, into table. Now you all know all data objects in the SAP ABAP new syntax must be prefixed with at the rate, all host variables. Now for inline data declaration, we are using data. What is the name of internal table? Suppose LT underscore data. Now I will go for where condition. Where a matenar in s underscore matenar. You all know 
all data objects must be prefixed with at target. So this must be prefixed with at target. Now I will go for and condition. Now I will write B sprass is equal to psi length system variable for the language. And this must also be prefixed with at the rate because this is your post variable. These are your data objects. Now I will check the syntax. And now I will activate it. Now the last part is extremely important and it creates lots of confusion for the people because ultimately you need to display that data. So how, how we will display that data? Previously, you have individual columns. You are able to see that data of individual column. Firstly, to understand this, we'll see in the debugging. Suppose I'm writing right one, simple. So, so that I can show you in that debugging mode. And without debugging, we will not even able to understand how to display that data. I will just go for running this program. I will go for input. I will go for execute. And debugging will play a vital role because it will help you to understand how you can display. Suppose I am executing this query. I am executing this query. You can see we have, if I will go for this internal table, we have 13 records. That is okay. Now, if I will go here. This is your first column data. You can display simply. You can write loop at internal table into work area. You can simply write work area hyphen matinar, work area hyphen meins. Okay, done. Now the question comes on to this now because now you do a data. Your data of all the columns are here. Your data of all the columns are here. Now the question comes, how you will display the data? See, we gave the alias B. So under the B column, you have this record. Now just double click here. Now are you able to see the data? Yes, you are able to see the data. Now just think how, how you will display. If I will go to desktop 3 and show you how you will display. Debugging is very important here. Just see how we will display. I'll just go to this. Okay, I'll go to back. I'll just close this. Just see how we will display. We can directly go for this, go for this, but we cannot directly go for this. So what we will write? Work area hyphen. What is the column name? B. What is the column name? B. In this B column, what we want to display? Spras. MAKTX and MAKTG. Just see how we will write work area hyphen column name. What is column name? B. And under that column, what we want to display? SPRAS, MAKTX and MAKTG. This is the maximum confusion from the participants whenever they will use star. After that, they don't know how to display the data. So what I will do, I will keep this session as it is. And in another session, I will write the code so that we can understand. I will go for SC30 in the new session. Now I will write the code. Okay, it is already opened in change mode. So I'll just close this. Okay, I'll just come out from that debugging. And we will again go to debugging. Sorry. Okay, I'll just come out. Okay, here I will go to display mode. I'll just open in the debugging. Desktop 3, most preferable desktop. And in another session, I will write the code. Keep, I will keep this as it is so that we can understand how to display. I will open the program into a new session. And now I will write. 
So I will simply write loop at internal table into. You all know we are going for inline data declaration. So I will write data work area. I will go for end. Now for first two columns, there is no problem. I'll simply, simply copy this. Firstly, I will show you. The system is considering or not. System will simply say these are unknown. I'll check the syntax. I'll check the syntax. System will clearly told me there is no column SPRAS. There is no column MAKTX. There is no column MAKTG. See, you are passing the data to work area. See, work area, matinar system understand. Work area, MEINS system understand. But in this work area, the column is B. But you are specifying MEINS, SPRAS, M, sorry, SPRAS, MAKTX, MAKTG. So how system will understand? So we need to write work area, which column? B. Under B, what we have? SPRAS. What is this B? This is your alias itself. Now, what is this? This is B and make ATX. This is B and make ATG. Now, if I will check the syntax, there is no error. Okay, M A K T G. Okay, I think I go with the wrong name. M A T K G. Okay, M A K T G. Just wait, I'll see. M A K T G. I'll just check. Okay, I forgot to put B. Sorry, it's my mistake. Column name is correct. Now you can see there is no error. I'll just activate. And just understand it in debugging mode because whenever you are going for star, so how the data is coming is yes. I will go for input. Same to same time of out. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you that now we can use star in the join itself. And yes, sometimes the requirement is like this only. You need the data of all the column or you need the data of maximum column. Previously, we need to specify the columns one by one. Now we can use star simply. Firstly, I showed you if in the old syntaxes you are using star, you will get the error. Then we use star based upon the SAP ABAP new syntax. We used this at the rate for the all the data object or post variable. We used inline data declaration. After that, the most important part come because last these three columns are not coming directly into work area. In the work area, we have the column B and in that B column, we have the data of all the columns. So you need to check in that debugging mode how the data is and you can see. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.